According to the traditions of the Mayan civilization from Guatemala, when children are scared or have worries, their parents give them worry dolls right before bed. The children concentrate on their problems and tell their doll. They tuck their doll in underneath their pillow, and then in the morning, their worries are gone. There are many different types of worry dolls, and they usually very tiny, 10 to 20 millimeters, they're made by hand using wood and wire and cloth. Today, we're going to create our own worry doll using thread, yarn, and clothespins. All right, we're going to get started on our worry doll. I'm giving you a clothespin, and then you will have your choice of a pipe cleaner. So anyone you want, this will be its arms. What we're going to do is put the middle of the pipe cleaner on the torso, hold it in place, and wrap it around one time. You can even do a little twist on that. And when I twist it, this end is going to go around the other end, and that will hold it into place. I've also given you some tacky glue, which is really gooey, quick holding glue and a Q-tip, and we can put a little bit of glue around our pipe cleaner to hold it in place. Now you get to pick the color of floss you want for your body, and we have lots of choices to pick from. You're going to get two colors. One for the shirt and one for the pants, or if you're making a skirt, a skirt. So you find the end, and then you can pull some thread out. Back to the end here. We are going to place this. I'm going to just stick it in that little wet glue there. If you don't have wet glue, go ahead and get some more. Now we're going to wrap it around from the neck. And very slowly, I'm holding it near the body, my thread near the body, and I'm wrapping and overlapping so I don't see any more clothespin. I'm going to go on top of my pipe cleaner. Do you see how I have a little pipe cleaner showing? I'll go back over that to cover it up. Now that I'm down around the arms, I'm going to take my floss and go underneath the arms because I don't want them to be stuck um, and hidden under all my floss. So I just lift them up a little bit. And then I can just push this floss up so that will hide the rest of it. I'm now noticing I have a little bit of pipe cleaner showing still, and I can go back over that. And I can also push and pull the floss up. So I'll finish the torso, wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. When I'm done, I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to get your scissors, trim, and get a little dot of glue to secure your end in place. Now we will get our thread for our pants. Find the end. If you're making a skirt, I'll show you how to do that as well. Get a little dot of glue right under the shirt and we'll hold that into place. Oops. Then we will wrap like we did our torso. You have to decide, do you want a skirt or pants? If you want a skirt, you're going to continue to do this down towards the bottom. 
If you want pants, what you're going to do is take your thread and go in between the legs, push the thread up. Hold the piece with your thumb, put it back in, and continue to do this. Every so often you can push these threads back up. This is going to be a little bit more tedious and time consuming. But that's okay, you have persistence. All right, you'll continue doing that till you get to the bottom. And then we will cut and tack it into place with some glue. And then we will do the other side. The other side, we'll take the end, a little glue, and wrap the other side. Okay, now that we have the shirt and the pants done, I'm going to keep open this up. I work on my arms now. What do you want your arms to do? Do you want them to be three-dimensional? You can have them up like that. Or you can just leave them. You can have them hold them together. Mine are too long, so I'm going to trim. Pipe cleaners are sometimes hard to cut, so it's important to cut way on the opening in there. That will make it easier. Measure this so it's even. And then I can just fold mine. Looks like she's holding her hands together, or he. All right, what kind of face will you add? I kept it simple because I have a little tiny area. This one I gave little eyelashes and had my eyes closed. This one, just a little smiley face. Now, if you wanted to give your person a belt, you can take a little piece of yarn and you're gonna tie it like you would your sneakers. We'll do a double knot once and twice. It's too long, go ahead and trim. And then hair. You want long hair, short hair? I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my scalp here. Hold that, and I'm going to kind of twist it around and do a base if you wanted it long. You could always add long pieces on top. Let it set up a little bit. If you wanted it long, you could add another piece of yarn and have it come down on the sides. Or you could cut individual um, pieces. It's up to you. You are gonna have to hold it a little bit and let this glue set up. And that will require a little bit of patience. So I'm just gonna hold it. We can also go ahead and add some shoes with a marker. If you wanted to make boots, make them a little bit taller. What are we gonna do underneath? And there's our worry doll. So think about any sort of worries you have. Tell your doll at night and tuck them underneath your pillow and your worries will be gone in the morning.